A railroad signalman is responsible for maintaining signaling infrastructure, from lights and gates at crossings to the electronic systems that guide train movements. Let's discuss what the job entails through interviews with real railroaders, from duties and responsibilities to the working environment and requirements for success in the position. Yeah, the signal maintainer's job is to ensure the safety of the public. A lot of technical aspects when you get hired into the new job. You'll need to learn how to read blueprints, have an understanding of electrical systems and how they work. Uh, we handle the signals for the train crews. We perform a monthly uh, crossing test, monthly, quarterly, yearly test. Mostly what I look for on a crossing test, I'm checking for grounds and batteries, making sure that they're holding up, checking the lights, make sure they're clean and functioning, make sure there's no damage to the actual gate itself. Uh, and probably one of the most important things as well is the defect detectors. A signal maintainer has to possess the knowledge and skill to understand not only how the equipment works, but how to ensure it interacts properly with the systems it's tied into. So what's the training like? You need to have a good understanding of how a lot of your basic track circuits work. There is schooling involved with that. I mean, we go through a two-year on-the-job training. Then we also have a six-week course broken down into two weeks at a time over in Kansas City. It's two weeks at a time, three sessions, so six weeks total, and then you'll have to get certified by one of the supervisors in the signal department. So that way when you are out here, you understand how a crossing works, what allows the crossing to work. It does require you to have a Class A CDL. You might be able to have to drive different equipment for different things. And it's just a lot of hands-on training to really help you understand how this stuff works. The railroad operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That means the signal maintainers will have to work in a variety of harsh environments. Situations also occur after hours where employees will be required to report for work when there's a trouble call. What are the environments like and what are some challenges? One of the hardest things I feel is being a signal maintainer is being on call. You're going to be on call 24-7. One of the big things is just availability. A normal day for us, we work 7 to 3. Um, it's a typical day when you're just out testing or maybe running with a maintenance away crew. However, you know, there's times where you get home and you're home for five minutes and your phone rings because you got a crossing in failure or a switch not working or even a defect detector not reporting. You're laying in bed at 2.30 in the morning and you got the dispatcher calling you out to Mingo Junction to go work on a switch. You'll travel around a lot, but you'll have a home station. Yeah, we have a 12-hour uh, window throughout the day that we can work. So if any time you exceed your 12 hours, you have to have mandatory 10 hours off. Basically ensures that we're not overworking ourselves. We get a fair amount of rest so we can be ourselves the next day. And as much of an inconvenience sometimes it can be for you or your family, you also have to think about that there's other people's families out here driving and you want them to be safe. You don't want anything bad to happen. We work in everything under the sun. Rain, snow, sleet, shine. When it is really hot or really cold, they do have us take safety breaks. They want to make sure that we are absolutely safe. Nobody's getting heat stroke, nobody's getting frostbite. While the work can be challenging, being a railroad signalman is a rewarding career especially when it comes to the benefits you'll enjoy on the Wheeling and Lake Erie. The pension's super good here. You get profit sharing. 401k, the company does a 4% match on that. We got really good medical, dental, and vision. And if you have a family, that is a humongous thing for you, especially on the cost side. We also have railroad retirement. Railroad retirement is way higher than Social Security. You get tier one, tier two retirement, so you get full pension after 30 years and age 60. Which also includes a spouse pension with it. Your spouse will also get half of what your retirement is. The wheeling really makes you feel like a family. Um, I was kind of shocked the short time that I, after I started, the people I talked to in HR didn't just know me as a number, they actually knew who I was, what I looked like, and that to me was kind of important. I've worked previous to other companies before Wheeling where you were just basically a number to them. You were just another body. For somebody coming in and wants to get into this department, uh, the best thing you can do is ask questions and be willing to learn. One, be willing to work safe and two, be willing to learn. Just pay attention and watch what other maintainers are doing. We've got a lot of guys here with a lot of knowledge that are more than willing to help. Because there's always going to be a new technology 
when it comes to signals. The troubleshooting aspect is one of the main things I like. You never know what problem you're going to get. It's different every time you go out. It, it just, it's a challenge every day just to really be able to not enjoy it. You have to fight with yourself not to love it.